All right, here's a new video. I added a new part, um, a watts up meter, uh, W A T T S up meter. Um, just something simple for these two panels. I just want to see what was coming in and what was actually going out. So I've got some interesting results here. Not really sure how to interpret them, but uh, I don't know if you can see that or not very well. Try turning the light off, I guess. Uh, might be a little better. Anyway, I'll read them to you. Top left is 0.62 amps coming in. It's early morning, by the way. It's, the sun hasn't even really come up. Uh, there's no direct sunlight on the panel. So we got about 30, 29 volts. Um, it's peaking about 38 volts. It says we're making about 20 watts. This is directly from the panels. So no grid tie yet. Uh, this is actually what the grid tie is pulling. So here's 34 volts, etc., etc. I'll let you watch that for a minute or so. Try and hold it steady. So this meter is pretty cool because it records max amps that you brought in, max voltage, max wattage, uh, volt average, amp average, amp hours. Um, and it goes all the way up to about 6,000 watts. They say 100 volts um, at 60 amps or 50 amps continuous and 100 amp peak. So this thing will handle some serious juice. Uh, the resistance is 0 0.001. So it's not supposed to have any loss, but really I'm just going to put this thing in here. A lot of people put uh, voltage and amperage meters. This thing's pretty cool. So uh, we'll see if I recommend it or not. I'm going to use it for a little while. I just kind of put it in between the incoming power. So. Um, you can see the grid tie speeding in. This is the power jack 1200. I'll try and turn this light back on. I don't know if that's going to help or not. Uh, kind of washes up the video. Okay, anyway, sorry guys, playing around with the camera too. Um, anyway, we're putting power in, so let's see. Let's do a quick test here. Let's see if we can get it stable for a little bit. It says about 22 watts coming in, 34 volts, 0.66 amps coming in. I think we're seeing some MPPT here because this is what it this is what the load for the power jack is drawing and certainly not open circuit. So that's what this device records is what it's drawing. Uh, so you see the voltage shift like that and the amperage come up. And I've seen the amperage go down, the voltage come up. So I think we're seeing some MPPT. Anyway, let's check the uh kilowatt meter. And of course, everyone's opinion counts, so if you guys want to leave anything, that would help out. Maybe help explain what's going on here. We're seeing about, uh, what, 28-ish watts? And again, it's really early morning. I wanted to get up early and see what this thing was doing. About 28 watts. Let's see what this meter says. About 20 watts coming in, so... I know it's not going to be watt to watt. It's just interesting to see. Uh, let's see if I can get the light in there. See, see, its power is pumping in the house. So 0 0.78, or 0 0.73 amps, uh, 27 volts. So we're on the low side of this power jack. I think it's uh, something like 28 volts to 55 volts or something like that. So there it shows 22 watts or 21 watts. See the voltage dropping off. So definitely interesting. I don't want to make this video too long either, but end up being like Kevin from the Outer Banks with these uh, 10 minute videos. Kevin, I watch every minute of your video, by the way. So, looks like about almost 30 watts coming into the house. Uh, early morning. Still doing the manual tracking on the floor tracker. And I think I've talked enough here. About 20 watts coming in. So, 3.1 watt hours. Again, it's early morning. but Alright, we're going to cut this short. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the car real quick. Got a lot of positive feedback, so turn the light on. This is my 
earth killer. We just saw the earth saver. Ten and a half miles to the gallon. Supercharged. Uh, centrifugal blower. CNL intake. Forged everything. Air a few bolts. Uh, this thing's nasty. The bottom end looks better than the top, and the uh, steering components are, are the uh, suspension components are probably about the best part. So, it's all my boost gauges and fuel ratio gauges, and got Bluetooth and built in uh, phone for Bluetooth and DVD player, and you name it. There's my custom 5 speed. So, of course, it's all leather on the inside. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's probably dark. But, uh, there you go. Fuel pressure, boost, fuel mixture. Alright, guys. See you later.